Yeah, it's thing out for the group chat. I am here. My name is Lon. I am your um, gracious host. Keith is here a with me. Host? What makes you a gracious host? I don't know. I'm graciously doing this. Mm. I don't know. Okay. Um, Keith is here with me. Uh, Victoria is allegedly on the way. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Jared is still on paternity leave. Jared is He's trying not to be, though. He is trying not to be. But no. <laughs> we got to be good friends and say no. Ooh, me, and you're also not bringing your very, 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 very newborn baby. On the to, podcast. Huh? Yeah. No. no. And we don't want to hear you as, as beautiful as your child is. <laughs> Don't want to hear him crying. I don't. Uh, Yesterday at church was hard for me. It was too much. Cause I, so um, my sister's friend yeah. was in town, right? Okay, yeah. She wanted. She was like, yo, I know you go to church. Yeah, my mom go. is in town, too. She wants to we go, to, go church. to church. Okay. None of my cousins go to church. All oh. they do is sin. I, <laughs> is that a quote? That's what she said. I love that quote. All they do is say, and I said, "That's all they do." She's like, "Yeah, that's all they do." So, um, I want you to tell yeah. me where your church is. We'll come to your church. I said, "Dope." So they came, and I'm like, "Where do y'all want to sit?" She was like, "Anywhere." So they decided to sit in the very back, oh. and I realized very early it's very noisy back here. It's so noisy. It's it's a lot of in and out. It's a lot of babies crying. It's a lot of like dapping up and hop out and like just chitter chatter. A lot of dropping stuff. Like, why you got stuff? It's so much going on in just like between those last two rows and not even the foyer, like the steps. It's riffraff. There's so much going yeah, on. Yeah, there's a talk in the vestibule. It's, it's just ruckus. It's yeah. riffraff, man. And, and I'll be trying not to get heated when I'm, like, doing um, the sound, sound or stuff, whatever, or yeah. media back there. I'll be trying so hard. The other, because not even, not this Sunday, the past Sunday. Okay. We weren't in the back. We sat, like, um, a couple rows from the back. Um, mm-hmm. And... To me, you can get away with stuff during worship, right? A it's, little bit. It, you can get away with more stuff. Yeah. When somebody's up there talking, whether that's announcements or the pastor is up there, yeah, shut everything down. Yeah. Over at the Connect Center, yeah, they're uh, filling up. The, you know, they give out stuff for the new guests. Right. They sort not the gift bags at the back, and I'm just hearing. <laughs> yeah, the whole time Bags ruffling The whole And I'm cringing like Alright They almost done Let it go yeah. They almost done Let it go And I think part of that I get it Cause I know part of that Comes from us Working in media Yeah And dealing with Sound And, from, that, and, and becoming sensitive to So sound. sensitive Yeah And it's like Yo I can other people probably hear it and it's like white noise, but I can hear it. Yeah. And that's all I'm hearing. Because once I my can. ear picks it up, yeah. it picks it up as that's not supposed to be happening. Right. Shut it down. Right. And it was like, come on, man. Yeah. Are we doing this right now? Yeah. That's all I was thinking about. And, uh, you know, I looked over, like, I'm like, I hope that they are focused on whatever. They should be focused on because yeah. I can't. And then I just chucked <laughs> it up to, I chucked it up to, you know, being an audio engineer of sorts yeah. and having ADD though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mama, like, I just hear the little, the smallest movement, yeah. the smallest like sound. Ear, your ear is probably way better tuned than mine. Yeah. Just because, well, yeah. Because well, you work with audio for video. That's a yeah. different, yeah. Like, you're musically inclined yeah. and you do audio for video and you do post production, you and record like you, you have do ADD. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> that thing if it's bothering me, I know it's probably driving I, you it's crazy. It's driving me crazy. Yeah. That would have driven me crazy. What you described would have driven me nuts. But man, kudos, shout out to Pastor the Hottie, man. This past Sunday. Were you there? Uh, no. Killed it. 
Drop the hammer. Body. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Speaking of which, I know you're going to ask about our weekends. Um, Saturday, pretty dope. Friend of this show. Yeah. Uh, invited me over or invited us over. Yeah, yeah. You stopped by for a movie. A bit, man. Um, yeah, we watched about four or five of those uh, Marvel movies, man. And, this is dope. And it literally just even solidified my stance even further on how trash Captain America is. <laughs> I said, because the <laughs> argument came up. The, it did. The argument came up that Captain America was a uh, who is better, Captain America or Iron Man? And I, oh, that, that's not even. Come it on, it was though. No, let's not even do that. But it was. It was a whole to do. And you know, contrarian show. He's like, "Are you kidding me? I love Captain America. He's the best." Da 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 da. da. I'm like, fam, it's not even close. Captain America is always getting his butt whooped or not fighting who he should be fighting. He's yeah. always fighting little stuff. Yeah. So he was fighting the robots and he was fighting the little, you know, the little aliens, you know. He was fighting the putties from the Power Rangers the whole time. <laughs> the That's who he, and everybody else is fighting the real of the monster. Yeah. And he's fighting the little putties. So it just solidified that for me. Yeah. This this is what ended all arguments. Captain America is delegating like he always does, and he always takes the easiest task. <laughs> Y'all go high. Y'all go low. We'll stay on the ground and keep everybody safe, right? <laughs> this is what solidified it for me. So he's sending everybody off again in his second yeah. movie, telling everybody what to do. He said, you do this, you do that. I'll gather up the stragglers. And I said, I don't want to hear anything else. It's not brave. At all. <laughs> he said, I'll, I'll pick up the residue. I'll, I'll do, I'll sweep. I'll sweep up. The you hardest, cut the hair, I'll sweep up. The hardest thing that Captain America has had to do was try and um, not let Bucky kill him. Yeah. That's pretty much it. That's the, other than that, I can't. I don't remember anything significant. He's he's done. Nope. Of course, Clay took. I that mean, deal. he stopped the world from utter destruction, but he himself <laughs> had to die. I mean, but other than that, other than that, <laughs> that was in the first movie. Yeah. He was like, "We'll have to postpone that day. We'll have to postpone that date." <laughs> <laughs> um, Till eight years. So speaking I can come of back. dates, speaking of dates, me and Stacy, we go out on these friend dates, right? Yeah. I'm sure she wouldn't call him that. I think it's cute to call it that. But she'll hit me up to go to the movie theaters, which yeah. I think is dope. I love it. Yeah. Because she'll get, like, free screening tickets yeah. from her job and what have you. Yeah. So we saw a Spider-Man uh, Far From Home. Yeah. Pretty dope. Pretty good. She yeah. said it was good, too. It was good. Um, I give it a seven and a half out that's of ten. Solid. Yeah, it's a solid movie. Post Endgame, that's... Yeah, it's coming straight off of Endgame. Um, I, it's Iron Man 4. Okay. Or arguably Iron Man 5, if you want to count <laughs> Spider-Man yeah. um, Homecoming. Okay, okay. Yeah. I give it, it's it's basically Iron Man. They pay homage to this dude the whole movie. Oh, they have to. The whole movie. They have to. <laughs> I don't know if it would be a stretch to say this, but... Had the gamble on Robert Downey Jr. paid off, the Iron Man gamble, it, it for sure handsomely paid Ten off. Ten times over. <laughs> so, Wonder what they thought that it was. They're probably gonna put him in every movie for the next two years at least. Yeah, because we want remnants of Tony to be seen yeah. throughout. Like yeah. they had murals of him throughout the movie, oh, wow. like in whole other countries. You know. Oh. So, like, oh, the yeah, whole thing was like, yo, you the new Iron Man. He was like, I, I don't think anybody was expecting you to be the new Iron Man. Like, you Spider-Man. Mm, Spider You're 14 yeah, or out. 15 now, whatever age. Yeah. I finally saw, uh, which I don't know why it took me so long, um, um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah. It's really good. It's a good, well, usually, usually, and hey, guys, Welcome to thank God for the group chat, 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 where um we talk about Marvel and DC stuff, <laughs> but mainly Marvel stuff. But well, mainly Marvel stuff. Like, I would say ninety percent of it is Marvel. You, you the other ten percent would be Batman if we ever talk about Batman. Yeah. Oh, we have not talked about the new Batman. 
Which one? No, uh, not the new one, but the new, what is his name? Robert Pattinson. They oh, cast yeah. him as a new Batman. Makes sense. He's I, I can see it. I, I can see it. He got to put he, whatever he learned, whatever he learned in... Um, Twilight? Yeah, he got to put all of that aside. <laughs> we know that he can hold a trilogy down. We know that he of can course. hold a series down. He can so, deliver, deliver some mystique. He, he's young enough. Yeah. Uh, No, but what were you saying? Spider-Man, Spy- usually the animated stuff is usually the best stuff. It was really good. Honestly. Yeah. It's, it's usually the best stuff. They'll do it for like an hour or whatever. So, but this is like a full feature length movie. It was yeah. like an hour and a half. Yeah. It was good. It was really good. It was good. Um, pleasantly surprised. Mm-mm. Um, no, nah, because I knew it was going to be good. Everybody was saying it was good. No, nah, I knew it was going to be good, but, you know, they did they, they really well. Yeah. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> speaking of pleasant surprises, um, the Democrats, um, they're getting into the uh, debate bag. They had their first two debates, um, and by two debates, I mean because there are twenty candidates. Uh, they literally had. You to want to talk about the debates right now? Yes. I'm. Just, I'm still trying to warm up, man. What you want to talk about? What do you got on? Uh, we got the two some OJ. Um. <laughs> Oh man, uh, let me see what you got going on. Uh, uh, Trump stepped over into North Korea. He's the first sitting president to do so. No, not yet. Um, okay. what we got in this bag? A little Nas X. I added that this okay. morning because I forgot about that. Yeah, let's talk about Aisha Curry <laughs> is worried about her unwanted nudes leaking. <laughs> let's start off with that. Come back to all of that other stuff. I hate that you read it exactly how I typed it. Um, <laughs> what was she on? The View? The Real? The something. Some one of these daytime Red shows. Table Tape? Red Table Tapes. Red, Red Table Talks? I don't think it was Red Table no, Talks. No, of course she wasn't on there twice. <laughs> Red Table Tapes. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, man, I'm hungry, man. Um, She was on, uh, I probably should turn ESPN off. Um, you should. I don't know why you uh, think you could watch TV and do a podcast at the same time. Clary it's, signed. They traded Seth. No, Seth signed with the Mavericks. Um, the lines turning off the TV. Not man. gonna work. Um, <laughs> I don't know why he thought. I was hoping it would, uh, but it's, it's not gonna work. We're just gonna end up sitting talking about sports. Um, I usually was one. On, I was on one of these shows talking about. <laughs> Well, let's backpedal. Okay. Mm-hmm. A few months ago, she was on Red Table Talks with her... Aisha Curry. Yes. Aisha Curry was on there with Not her. Not too long ago. Maybe a month ago. It was, was it a month ago? Maybe. Early early June? Yeah. Early Late May. Late May? Yeah. Sometime last month. Uh-huh. She was on there with her... I think it was her mother-in-law, her... Sister-in-law, sister-in-law, soon to be. Yeah. And her other sister-in-law. Yeah, and they were, you know, red table talking. And yeah. it was, she brought it to our attention that she doesn't get as much attention as Steph does. And she would wonder if something is wrong with her. Why well, I don't have these guys hollering at me. Mm-hmm. And you can listen to a few episodes back about our thoughts on that and She's reasons. Cover art. Yeah. Reasons to why it would make sense for guys to not be hollering at you because of who your husband is. And um, who you are to your husband. Yes. Um that, a wife. Yeah. That, <laughs> like, how about that? <laughs> there may be an ounce of respect left amongst men <laughs> right, that right. are reluctant to, you know, right. holler at your 200 and whatever mil contract husband, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. his wife, and yeah. they probably can't do anything for you. Um, as opposed to the women that don't have anything and Steph has everything and they will gladly interrupt that. Um, anyway, 
So she's on there promoting something. I don't know if she's got a show or a book or something coming up. And she was talking about this whole new situation because Bella Thorne, and this was a whole other thing because she got mad at Whoopi because... Wait, wait, wait. But before we get to that, yes, I sent y'all a picture of Aisha Curry recently. Yes. So oh. she's got this whole new wardrobe now, all oh. of a sudden, from God knows where. <laughs> but like, I knew this was going to happen. Well, so you I, call it cloud chasing. <laughs> she's definitely cloud chasing. She, but she, you know what she's looking for. So she's dressing in this completely different way. Everybody's it's like, too yo, much. you dress like a mother. You know what I mean? It's a con- complete contrast. Like, so all of a sudden, she's showing off all of these, all this leg and stuff. Never seen her legs a day in and my she, life. She looks great. As a single man, I'm going to say this. She looks amazing. Right? Well, not amazing. She looks good. Any objective person <laughs> can good. say, you're pretty. But it's okay. Any person with the brain, after hearing what you said on the red table talks, and after going through what you said that you're going through, and then you got all of these new pictures up, but you showing all of these, all of this flesh and stuff like that, we know what, we can only assume what you after. Attention. Yes. Which is what you've always been after, Aisha. She's in it. She, if we, I'm not going to go as far to say clout chaser, first of all, because I don't really talk like that. Yeah. But she's an attention seeker, bro. She yeah. is. And I don't. Yeah. It's, it's, it's. All right. And uh, I don't want to talk about a man's wife. And that's the thing. Yeah. It's that's, like, a, that's the thing. That's why Steph are you Curry's, forcing us down this yeah, road? That's Steph Curry's wife. Check her. <laughs> Check her And that's not in some dominating way But like yo We at dinner at the house And just be like Baby like babe like Chill out Who do you want What are you looking for in like, this what's world What's going on Like yeah there is an issue There is a void And I'm not gonna be the husband That just goes well whatever Whatever Happy wife Happy, happy life, life. <laughs> Like no You are out here disrespecting me <laughs> And, and I'm not I, having and it. And I want to know why. <laughs> what, what, what is it that you need? Attention from other... No, you do not. And I'm not going to sit here and act like that is all that you need. I'm hurting you more yeah. than I'm helping you in yeah. that regard. You need... There is avoiding yourself. Yeah. There's something that you need to understand that you're not understanding. So now with this new development, what's happening again? I completely forgot. I'm stuck on the whole dress thing that she wore. It was a nice looking dress. Um, I love the color of it. Um, And it complimented she, her uh, complexion well. She's talking about uh, her sending oh, racy, yes. racy go pictures. Ahead. Yes, go to, for it, Lon. To, yeah, go ahead. To Steph. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And in light of recent developments, she was hoping that they don't get leaked. And I'm just like, yes, Shut you do up. hope they get leaked. We don't want them. Yes, you do hope they get leaked. But this was all on the. It, they brought it up because Bella Thorne, she's an actress. She leaked her own stuff because apparently she got hacked and somebody was trying to get money from her um, in order to not leak the pictures. So she got in front of it? So she got in front of it and put them out herself. Okay. Instead of calling the feds. Um, <laughs> um, and There's Whoopi, no such thing as bad publicity. None. They say. She's it's none. Yeah. And Whoopi Goldberg um, from The View and amongst other things, she was saying that she, her thing is, if you don't want to have any of these issues, don't, just don't take the photos. Like, you have to be aware of the, like, the age range with technology and stuff. Folks are shutting city whole cities down and holding them for ransom. You think it's gonna take that much work to get into your iCloud? I usually like <laughs> I got them. <laughs> if y'all want them, they, they in there. I'm sure do hope I don't get these leaked. I'm sure I sure hope y'all don't leak my very new photos. Her pictures, her uh, password probably rally one two three four or something <laughs> stupid like that. Or I love Steph. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> she was talking about that, and I don't, I think in an age where 
This is a problem that I don't know. I don't know. And of course, um, Steph's gonna, you know, have her back um, publicly. Yes, he should. Um, but I also feel like, it's like Keith said, like there's a there's a root to this problem somewhere that needs to get taken care of. And it's not to say that she can express how she feels and because you're allowed to have those feelings and that's 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 fine. But at the end of the day, like you also have to realize that your emotions point to something. Um, and sometimes those things are things that need to be uncovered and um, and dealt with so that you can grow as a person, um, especially as a uh, uh, wife, mother, friend, mm-hmm. father, brother, sister, cousin, whatever, husband, whatever you may find yourself in. Um, <clears throat> sometimes uh, the thing on the surface is only literally the surface of something that's probably buried way, way, way deep. Um, and like, I mean, she met Steph when... Um, you know, like when she was like fourteen, yeah, they started dating when they were seventeen, eighteen, yeah, something like that, and they've been together ever since. Yep. Um, and granted, he's probably been mildly famous, um, since a, just because of his dad, you know, for since he's a kid, mildly famous in college, started being recognized way more, did a great job at Davidson. They had a good run in the um, tournament. And he was doing pretty well in the NBA. In the last six years, I'll say, Steph is one of the faces of the league nationally and internationally. Like, that's, I don't know. That's that's, that's an adjustment. She's the epitome of... Like, I said this before. She's the epitome of, like, I literally have everything. Yeah. And it's not enough. Yeah. Like, she's Salamina. <laughs> Salamina. She's Salamina. <laughs> like, you are the wife of a basketball player. Yeah. Um, Who seemingly loves you. Very much so. Loves the kids. Very like, much it's... so. You have, you have three kids. You have a mansion. Your hu- your husband got more money than God. You yourself have your cooking. You got a cooking show. You got like other cooking things. I even think like you got like pots and pans sells, and all of that yeah, type of hardware. stuff. Yeah, hardware. Like but you want attention from men because you feel like that's the one thing that you don't have. Like get a grip, man. I don't have time. <laughs> Who's a pass? That was an aside. <laughs> Um, <laughs> speaking of speaking of stuff getting leaked, um, Taylor Swift. Have you heard about this? Yeah, Taylor Swift. Uh, let's it's get let's get um, music businessy for a moment. We all over the place. Complicated. Yeah. Okay. It's complicated. So, <clears throat> on the face of it, Scooter Braun, manager, person that. Basically discovered Justin Bieber. Okay. Uh, manager for Justin Bieber. Uh-huh. Kanye West right now. He recently took on Demi Lovato. Yes, he just signed this other girl that's a writer, singer, mm-hmm. actor. Um, just all around businessman. Yeah. Just came in. But Justin was his first big thing. Okay, sure. And Justin is probably turned out very, very well for him. Made him a very, very rich man. I would say. Um, so him and Taylor, whatever, like, and they're his, Taylor's dad, they have had a relationship for a while. So Taylor doesn't own her early catalog. Okay. She doesn't have majority shares in it. Okay. Common issue in the music business. Right. Most artists. Right. Don't own a lot of their catalogs. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just been a new wave of a few artists actually buying their catalogs back um, Chris Brown being one of the one of them, one of the major artists that just purchased, you know, mm-hmm. his catalog. Um, Scooter Brown purchased the majority um, in the holdings 
it was owned by a holding company, the majority shares of her catalog, which information for information's sake, that means he owns a catalog, he gets paid from anywhere from royalties from it to anyone that wants to use the music for movies, or he gets syncs, radio, like he it's it's an investment. It's like stock. Mm-hmm. Um, it makes you money and over time, depending on the catalog, it accrues value. There go Victoria late ringing my doorbell. Um, it accrues value uh, over time. And uh, so uh, it came to light um, <clears throat> over the past uh I think this developed over the weekend. I'm not sure if it happened last week. I'm not sure if it was an ongoing thing. Um, but uh, over the weekend, I guess it was made public that Scooter Braun purchased, you know, her cat, like a majority of her catalog, her early catalog. Okay. And she was not happy about it because apparently her and Scooter been beefing. Okay. Uh, As her current manager. No, Scooter's not her current manager. He's not her manager anymore. Just businessman. Her and Scooter's dad. No, Taylor's dad and Scooter have a relationship. Okay. Um, And apparently during whatever meeting that the purchasing or the negotiation was taking, a pla- taking place, her dad opted to not be there for some reason. So he was aware of this going on, but I guess he didn't tell her. Okay. So it's... Seem the whole thing just seems weird. Bought it for three hundred million. Yes, bought her catalog, and she was upset. So she took to Tumblr to I don't know. Okay, took to Tumblr. That's to, where everybody is uh, again. Nah, I guess took to Tumblr to vent her frustrations. Um, and part of what she was saying, <laughs> nobody is, will see it here. <laughs> part of what she was saying is. She had been asking for the opportunity to purchase them herself because mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure she has the money. Obviously. And for whatever reason, she hadn't been afforded that opportunity, which in the music business, I get like they're not, it happens. That's just, mm-hmm. it happens. Um, so she was upset because to her, it was like, of all the people y'all would let buy my catalog, you let Scooter do it. And basically it was kind of like bashing him and calling him a terrible person and brought up um, him being cool with Kanye and Kim and stuff. Because, you know, that time they did that thing where she was on the phone call. She was like, I was recorded illegally. Mm. Um, saying on the phone call, but I'm like, but I mean, yeah, but you were lying, saying that you didn't give him permission, and you did. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have said anything if you hadn't came out and said you were so appalled and hurt by this song um, that Kanye put out. And it was like, wait, hold up, we talk to you about this. And they came out and said, we talked to Taylor. This is before they put the clip out. They said, we talked to Taylor about this. Um, We don't understand what's going on because we made sure we cleared it. But, you know. Mm -hmm. So, that's the whole thing now. And the narrative is getting like, they're in Scooter Brown's comment calling him a rat. They're like, her fans are putting rat emojis in his comments and stuff. Um... I saw a Todd Dollar sign congratulate him congratulate him on the move and stuff. Um people are putting rats in his comments saying dot dot dot. Justin Bieber even chimed in because she used a picture that he posted some years ago with him on FaceTime with Scooter and Kanye and somebody else. And the caption was, Hey, like, what's up, Taylor? How you doing? or something like that. Justin chimed in and said, yo, I understand that that picture that I did, it was like two, three years ago maybe, was immature and I apologize for it in any way it may have hurt you. Um, 
And like please forgive me for that <laughs> You're like I'm a Christian now Yeah it's like I weird was, Like he's like I wasn't, wasn't <laughs> like, I was bugging Like I'm, I'm sorry am, yeah. Like I apologize for any hurt This may have caused you Um However Like it's hard for me to sit back And see you Saying these things about Scooter When I know they aren't true And this is not mm. Who I know him to be mm. Um, and I'm pretty sure he was like, I don't know if social media was the best avenue for you to yeah. deal with this. Cause he was like, man, I'm definitely willing to sit down and have a conversation with you and like sort this out. Um, so I'm letting you know on here because I, apparently this is where you respond to things and this is where you're going to see him. Um, but man, let me know I'm here. It's all love. Um, and I was like, shout outs to mature Justin Bieber. Um, so that's the whole thing. I think it's coming from Taylor. I get her frustration. Okay. I get having the money to buy your your catalog and not being able to do that and have the opportunity to do so, I, I'm i pretty sure there are a lot of artists that would like to do that and have the money to do so and not, are, are not able to do so. Can you, you can't just, it's not like a grocery store. You can't just go up and be like, I want my catalog, so let me have it. Like, yeah. people have to be willing to sell. Labels have to be willing to let go of certain things. Like, you just have to have a certain amount of leverage in those situations. Mm-hmm. Um, or three hundred million dollars, or that. That's a lot of lot of leverage. It's a lot of leverage. Yeah, um, I would say. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm pretty sure Taylor has leverage. I'm pretty sure she has clout, but I don't know if she's exactly. I don't know, likable right now. I don't know if her. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like part of me is from the artist perspective, like I get her wanting to do that and I get her frustration. But from you've been in the music business long enough. Like this is just one of those things, man. Like, like this should not shock you. I don't think she's shocked. I don't think by any means she's shocked. So I think shocked is the word. It's, you kind of, in a way, she probably feels even more betrayed or even more... Probably. Like, look, you stole from me, in a way. Yeah. You know? So I could see her frustration. I had planned on buying it. Yeah. You got to it first. There's nothing I could do about it. That makes me even more upset. Yeah, so... Um, now she's mad, um, and her fans are... They have been mobilized. Not that she's asked she, no, them to, ask but without asking. But you, I'm you, pretty sure she knew what the show repercussions your fan were. Base, you're disgruntled. Pretty sure she That's knew what was going to happen. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Uh, so, um, they are seemingly out for blood right now, and I'm not sure how um, it's going to develop. To this day, I don't know if she has asked them to stop or requested them to be nice and she probably hasn't but it's whatever any uh shape or form but I don't know man I I don't know alright cool it's tough thank you for that yeah it's tough man well Victoria's here hi Um, Victoria hi I wanna do a commercial do 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 We'll be right back. <laughs> he does not please with me for doing that. Keep it locked. <laughs> Commercial. Uh, I hate the way you come on, man. Stop coming on here all soft and... Uh, My voice don't project no, like that. Yes, it do, no, man. No, it don't. You can have energy. You... I, Hello, welcome back. This I don't is have any energy to the clock. This ain't the quiet storm, man. It might be. No, it it's be. not. All right. It's not the quiet storm, guys. <laughs> Just in case y'all was... For clarification. Hoping for that. 
Um, all right, we're back. Um, in full swing. Thank you. Uh, the Democrats. We're in election season. The candidates are candidating and campaigning. I liked candidating. I know you did. That's I why know you it said wasn't. It, but like, yeah, because it's not a word. And it's come on. Let me come on. No, <laughs> no, no. Man, let me no. have it. People don't listen to us <laughs> for creating words. <laughs> Just let me have it, man. Damn. I would... Man, no. No. Because I think about... I'm not thinking about you. I'm thinking about the people listening. And like, man, what if they're like, man, this is really informative. This is a great podcast. And then they hear you with all the degrees in the world, Mr. Three Degrees in here, and they hear you say candidate. Uh. Victoria shaking her head. She shouldn't be. I right. am. The candidates are this, this, campaigning. This is what happened, yeah. this is what happened the other day. This is what happened like two podcasts back, right? Shane, I said, man, Shane said something super profound. And I said, man, I love being the dumbest person in the room. And Lon said, and then Lon made up a word in response to that. And I was, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'm not the dumbest person in the room. <laughs> You have a space where you're very well connected, but you have very low intimacy. Shame yeah, you kid, y'all. Yeah. I love being the dumbest person in the room. It helps sometimes. I love it. Certainly do helps. Uh, all right. Y'all heard it here first. <laughs> all right. Um, the Democrats, we are in election season. <laughs> They held their first debate or debates, as Part it were. They literally had to split them into two nights. Why they do that? Cause it's because too it's too many people. It's twenty people. But, but okay, but we when you usually dwindle it's it down so by crazy. then, right? No. Mm -mm. No, this is the first one. This is the first one. No, but like. I'm pretty sure there's always in whichever party there's more than 20 people that want to be president, right? I think this then is how do the they most. Dwindle it down? I think this is like a this is like record. record. Like, I'm sure it is. And it was actually more than 20 of them. I think it was like 20. So how do they decide which people get to get up there and talk? I don't know. I'm sure there's some like if you got the bread, we could do it. Probably. No, that's the thing though. I'm pretty sure like there's a monetary yeah. number you have to hit or something. Like raise a certain no. amount of money. You have to be, a pump further. Maybe yeah. if you're we'll polling, okay. polling at that a certain actually amount. Actually, might be it. It might be a. I feel like it's either financial or polling numbers. Okay. Like okay. preliminary polling numbers. Okay. So. Um, okay. But either way, it's too many of y'all. Yeah. It was crazy. Was, it was so fun to watch. Good. It was funny. Um. First night, uh, they was basically <laughs> the first night was basically the JV. Second night was don't varsity. do Cory Booker like that. No, we're gonna do Cory Booker like that. I, I became a fan. <laughs> Why don't we like him again? Before, or after he spoke Spanish, right? Or reminded us for the fifteen million time that he lives in the hood. I, live I in like the hood. that. He's from Jersey too. <laughs> Bro, we get it. I didn't. I don't think any of us. Well, I know I didn't like dislike Cory Booker prior. He was just somebody who like needed to like. I needed to know what he was about. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm still, still waiting. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm no, still. No, you know what he about. about. He, you ain't. You ain't watch. Pandering to. You didn't, you didn't watch the debate. See, see. I watched enough. See, ain't what? No, you did not. You said first you, of all, I watched the second half. Just watched the second. I watched the second the half. Sec but he I wasn't, wasn't on the second half. No, he wasn't. Okay, That's what I said. we talked about the Corey highlights Booker. from the first. Those one. not necessarily. I saw what I needed. To Those not were, the highlights he, were hilarious. He, he, he let me. He let. He let me in on what he was about more so. I got to understand him yeah. in a great deal on okay. watching the first one. Absolutely. Okay. It's on demand. If you got cable, you can you can watch it. It's probably on I'm NBC just saying. for free. Huh? Yeah. It's probably on there I'll for free. I'll find it. Yeah, no, it is for free. Yeah. Um, so the debates happen. Uh you notable speak Spanish. The notable standouts for the first night. Elizabeth Warren was on the first night. Cory Booker was there the first night. Beto O'Rourke was there the first night. Um, and I think for the most part, they sort of held the floor for that first that first night. Mm -hmm. I don't um, remember anyone else really standing out. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very cooperative. Everyone's just 
It's very a very amicable deba- debate, amicable debate between them. You can see, and they mostly had most of the same the first ideas. Night? Yeah, the first night they mostly had the same Did you ideas. Watch it? Yeah. Okay. Compared to the second night. The second night. Compared to the second saying, night, it was yes. pretty, it was pretty chill. Like they, 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 the first, the second night said, "We see your first night, and we raise you. We raise you. Yes. Two nights." He's like, I say, y'all don't have nothing to say about nobody else up here. Right. Word. Got it. Right. Um, Pull my beer. So, <laughs> so it's pretty chill. Uh, I think one of the funniest things, one of the memes that came out of it was Beto O'Rourke being asked a question and him deciding to answer in Spanish. Yeah. To which Cory Booker was looking over. He was like one person over from him was looking over at him with this look on his face like yo i was going to do he that stole my like, but didn't he do it but didn't he do it first no he no, didn't he didn't do it first. Did it first he didn't do it first mm-hmm. he still went ahead and did it anyway like <laughs> a couple of questions later game, I'm f- oh okay not right after not right but right he after. did do it he did do it but he was looking at him like <laughs> Like, yeah. Damn. You stole my peas. You stole my shit. Like I do Spanish, bro. I'm the bilingual president. Yeah, fam. Like, what? <laughs> Isn't Beto Mexican? In air quotes. What it's very suspicious. Like, there's a lot of suspicion around, like, how genuine his, um, like, how genuine his, his Mexicanity his is. Mexican-ness is. <laughs> There's some suspicion around how he chooses to align himself ethnically. Or yeah, I think I think I they're saying like he's washed. It's not. It's not going to happen. Yeah, he's, no one. He's going to be out early. Yeah, because well, because he got a lot of support and like people loved him when he was running for Senate. Yeah. Is that what he was running for? You senator. When he was running for that race. And Texas. He almost beat who? Ted Cruz. He almost beat Ted Cruz. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, a lot of people loved him. And so, I was just slightly surprised. Slash not really. When, like, stories started surfacing about, like, how suspect he is. And now he's not really Mexican. And he's really just pandering. Isn't, um... This is how it goes into the whole Elizabeth Warren situation about yeah. her being, like, point zero eight Native American. Native her trying American. trying to claim the hardcore. And I'm like... Gotta... But they said she was putting that on her um on her applications to Harvard though. Allegedly. Say if you do that, it makes it easier for you to get into certain spaces. Yeah. I'm gonna start doing that and just check Native American and see I mean, what happens. Know, black folk, we say we're part it, Cherokee oh, all the oh, time. Everybody's so part Cherokee. We're all Cherokee. <laughs> Sometimes switch it up and say Blackfoot if you're feeling fancy. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that felt like a slur. <laughs> No, it's not. I'm sick and tired of these black (laughs) folks. All right, so the (laughs) first night was pretty chill. Uh, For the most part, they kind of challenged Elizabeth Warren a bit, but I said she was the most prepared. Yeah. And it was, it was. I think her Corey and um, (laughs) Beta was the most prepared for the first night. You can kind of see. I'm not sure if I'm missing anybody else. Um, you can see uh, that that was obvious. Now, second night. Why she laugh when? Because Keith put on his glasses like he's about to pontificate upon <laughs> the debate with us. I am. <laughs> it don't talk to me like that. <laughs> just... It's like a lose-lose with glasses, man. Anything you do. He put on his it's, glasses like he about to say something small. Yeah. <laughs> you know, say like with yeah. us. He <laughs> said, "That's what you don't know nothing about no uh, government." <laughs> <laughs> Take your glasses off. All right, okay. Is that what was stopping you? Um, uh, so the second night was heavy hitters. Yeah. Uh. Kamala was on there. Bernie was on there. Joe Biden was on yeah, there. Yeah, it was all the heavyweights. Pete the Buttigieg second. was on there. Yeah. It was, was Gillibrand part of night one or I think Gillibrand? I think he Gillibrand. was night one. Gillibrand was night two. I think he was two. two. Yeah. Was night they, two. Had all, they had all the heavy hitters on there. A lot more notable. 
Um, for the first night, uh, <laughs> the first night should have been like, well, <laughs> we tried. Thanks for coming here. Pack it up. Yeah, your that your first night. Ain't it? Okay, well, let's pack yeah. it up. <laughs> that first night feel like they they just gave they gave Elizabeth a clear. Yeah, that first night was it was the <laughs> they were playing night. the first night was <laughs> the dunk contest. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we just getting ready. This the first night was the second night of the All Star weekend. That's it. That's it. That, that, that was just day two. It's so easy. Cory Booker did his thing. He did. Yeah. No, him, Elizabeth, and Beto were like they would have. They answered the most questions. There are people up there that didn't say anything at all. Mm. Right. Um, there was one guy that got asked a question and <laughs> he was shocked, and he was basically like, "Oh, you meant me? Y'all Why are you up here?" <laughs> He thought they didn't know <laughs> for real, but I I did notice that like there are there were certain people that got way more questions yeah. than others. I yeah. mean because and that's why they who... felt like they had to jump in and say something. Yeah, because those those were the ones that were polling the highest. Yeah, so it's uh, like mm-hmm. so even before the debates, it's obvious that these say I what eight people. Yeah, these are the eight people that actually have percentage points that are like have eight or more percent points in the in the polls right now everybody else is like they're gonna I've, like unless something crazy happens they're probably gonna just tail off yeah so i'm not gonna ask you a bunch of waste time and ask you a bunch of questions if five percent of the people only know who you are and actually want you to win mm-hmm if the majority of the people we're seeing have the most interest in their in these people, let's talk to them and see. But that's that seems like kind of crazy to me. You know what I mean? It is because like if you don't know about me, how are you gonna know about me? Yeah, right. Like so, literally. why did I pay money to be here? I mean, I guess it's exposure it's to exposure some degree. Thing. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I mean, hopefully that they help understand you get, like, that. A, I'm sure I'm 100 percent positive. Because my feelings for some people, it's like a chess move. It's like they might not get the presidency, but they may be able to secure a higher position than they had previously because of the exposure. I ran for president yeah. in yeah. 2019. And then like and it can okay. set you up for doing like another run for presidency if you want to in the future. But at the end of the day, it's like America's pretty stable on like how we go about choosing. Like, you know yeah. who's actually going to make it past yeah. this round. Yeah. So you might as well let the American people get as much information from those yeah. than like Joe Schmo who... I just heard about today. And there were people that did not make the debate stage. Yeah. So it was more than 20 of them. Well, let me um, put my glasses on <laughs> so we can talk about this second night, because I do know about that. <laughs> All right. So second night was he no put his glasses on. Like, it <laughs> was no holes. Uh, it was pretty chill for like the first <laughs> half. Yeah. And then Kamala then got Kamala in her back. Got in her back. Yeah, got in I'm her bag. Yeah, and was, they asked us she something. She got in it pretty early. It she, was pretty early when she shut uh-uh. everybody up, <laughs> guys. Now America, because they asked her a question, they did, and everybody started talking over her, and she got her moment. I guess you, you know, it was like watching a rap battle. Yeah, I'll speak to you guys in layman's terms, since since I don't know anything about politics. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> said that. You did say that. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, these hands. What is happening? Since I need my glasses. <laughs> Over here rubbing his hands. Like, Since y'all said I need my glasses. Because <laughs> pontificate is not a good word. Like, it's not. I'm it's sorry. not. To pontificate <laughs> means like you acting like you know what you're talking about. And you don't. <laughs> too much. Uh, no. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Scholar hands that you have going right yeah. now. No, so yeah, it's, it was basically like watching a rap battle. You watch, you you get a chance to ha- have everybody react. And while everybody's reacting, you're thinking about how you're going to word or rebuttal yeah. what somebody else is saying. So it was fun to watch from that aspect. So when, when they were, um, they asked her a question, everybody started <laughs> answering the question <laughs> for her, not talking or whatever. I don't know what was happening. I can't stand that. They were all talking over here trying to like jump her on the question. Mm. 
it was waiting. The whole thing was just noisier. Yeah, it was. And she was like, "Guys, okay, now every nobody wants to hear us have a food fight. They want to see us put food on the table." And everybody like uproarious applause. <laughs> and I, she ain't said nothing. She really didn't. I was like, "What does that mean, Kamala?" But, but she ran it but, back. But she did run the bring. The, she brought it full circle and brought back the uh, food on the table reference <laughs> she, at the end. I was like, okay. It's like respect. But in the moment when she first said like, it, I was shut like, up what? And <laughs> she said, shut up and talk. She was like, I've been holding this one in my back pocket. <laughs> shut up and talk. Uh, <clears throat> and her yeah. name is Kamala. Kamala. Upon further review, we've been over this about four times Kamala, now. Not Kamala. Not Kamala. Kamala. Not uh, Kamala. 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 Uh, so yeah So what else happened She at some point <sighs> That debate was so fun It was it me was. It was me Lon um, Kavan And John At the house At John's house On Friday right it Was it Friday It was Friday And We was over there We was trying to find Something to watch I was like Let's watch the debate <laughs> <laughs> So scholarly <laughs> They was like, no. Keeping y'all together. <laughs> they said, y'all said no. They said no. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> well, because it popped out like, let's try. rise in the base. It was like, no. <laughs> it's a Friday night. Right. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, so during, <laughs> if for knowledge's sake, since Joe Biden, well, even before Joe Biden declared his bid for the presidency, things have been coming out. We've learned that he is an old man that does not know how to give hugs. It was terrible hugs, apparently. Um, we've learned that... You think he take digs <laughs> from best man, giving forehead kisses and stuff. <laughs> don't quote me. I don't know if he's kissing girls on the forehead. He was not. There's was no not. kissing involved. Just long hugs. But None but of it, it was... like you did. <laughs> <laughs> there was there's no sexual assault. All of it was... like you kissed me on the forehead. All of it was... <laughs> He hugged me too long. He put his hand on my shoulder. And I think you kissed me on the forehead. <laughs> no, not this. <laughs> nothing nothing to be prosecuted about. Kiss. It was all <laughs> just uncomfortable things. You got to the crux of it. That's what I was getting to. Um, things have been coming out. There are issues with him. Um, people took issue with him and his record with the Anita Hill, Anita Hill situation. There was an issue that came out with him having uh, an issue with busing integration, uh, which he explained it wasn't the way people were making it out to be. It's, anyway, so Kamala brought that up at, during the debate uh, when it was not being talked about. At all. At all. Nothing to do and with nothing. Way, speaking of buzzing. And by the way, I Joe, was that little girl. Come on, nobody. Joey. He was like, uh, man, he was like, like we're not even talking about this. What, what is you doing? Hell? Trying to just do. Oh. <laughs> He's like, like, are you going to apologize for your part in busting <laughs> Uh, segregation. Like, Kamala, you're not running this debate. Let's be clear. Yeah, she was like, is. Though. She was, but she wasn't. Yeah, I mean, and I was like, Joe Biden was trying to explain himself and break down what it was. He was like, it was not that these are the reasons why I was against it. These are the details of the actual bill. Like, if anyone knows anything about politics and bills and laws and things that need to be passed, there's the actual name of the bill mm -hmm. and their actual details in the bill of what actually is going to be taking place and what is to be carried out. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the name of these bills can be very ominous mm -hmm. and people are all as anyone would be with a statement taken back um, by what the large print might say. Mm -hmm. But when you get to the crux of it, it's like, oh, that makes sense. Why I want to just name it something else? Yeah. Um, so he was trying to defend himself, and that just started there back and forth for the rest of the night. Yeah. Um, and I saw someone on Twitter say, uh, "She was out for blood, man. It was an attack. She like was. It, we. It was very. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was very um strategized. Very. She, if you talking about um who was ready the first night? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. She was ready the second night. Yeah. She was well prepared. She came through 
swinging every every chance. I mean, she it's got. smart though when you know Joe Biden's the front runner. Like yeah. that's who you have she to attack. She, right. she has to go for the big dog. Yeah. yeah, she was, and she started off with, "I don't think that you're a racist." So it kind of like puts everybody's guard down yeah. of like, "Oh well, they just think." So she's saying Joe Biden's a racist. Like, no, nah, I don't, don't think, think that you're a racist. But everything I'm going to say thereafter. It's just going to <laughs> lead someone like to think racist. you are racist. <laughs> yeah. So, Joe. No, I don't yeah. think that. I don't think that. <laughs> but, but I can't control <laughs> other people who don't think it, after it, I say what I said. Exactly. But y'all just don't say I said he was racist. Right. Well, I'm on record saying I don't think you are one. Yeah. But these are things that racists do. Which is like political chess 101. Absolutely. Yeah. 101. She even brought up... Uh, because they were asking a question about race. I don't remember the question necessarily. Yeah. And it was to someone else. Yeah. This is what I mean by she was running at a she was running she that running debate. The whole debate. Yeah, because she was like, they asked the question to someone else. And she was like, no, I need to answer that question. I'm the only person of color up here. Who's up here? Yeah. Yeah. And everybody was like, woo! <laughs> Like, don't let her do that. Yeah. It's not your question. It's not your question. I didn't ask you that. And But then everybody would look crazy if they didn't. Exactly. <laughs> she knew what she was doing. She was exactly. like, I can pull the race card and y'all can't revoke She's it. She's pulling mm-hmm. strings. Yes. Anyway. Um, I, I mean, which is very hard. smart. She's a um, prosecutor, no? She's uh yes. She's a senator now, former district attorney of San Francisco. Okay. So basically, was, I'm over the people that prosecute the people, bro. <sighs> but she came up in this the prosecu- not, the prosecutory system. If she became our next president, I don't think I could be mad. Forget the blackness, yeah. Forget the womanness, mm. and um, just focus on no, 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 no. Don't forget it, because that's actually the reason why I'm voting for her. Yeah. Or would, I'm not saying I'm voting for her, why I would vote for her. Um, Like, black women get stuff done, man. Facts. And I don't want to make it that type of podcast, but honestly, you think about it. Black women get stuff done. You know what I mean? Like, they like, and this is going to excuse the phrase and excuse the terminology, but they Mm -hmm. like pit bulls, man. Mm -hmm. Like, they... They find, they see something they you know that they want they grapple at it and they don't let it go like that is it. Somebody else is huh? Bye. <laughs> I'm glad you Bye, said that off the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, she definitely. But, she, but uh, also her being a prosecutor or whatever you call it, that has a great deal to do. With a lot of stuff that comes through the White House and all of that type of yeah. stuff. If anybody's equipped, I'm not saying nobody else is, yeah. but like you can make a strong argument for her, man. Oh, she's, she almost made me forget she put all those people in jail, <laughs> in prison. She almost <laughs> made me forget. Almost. Do. almost. <laughs> they said, uh, I yeah. saw someone on Twitter say, uh, Kamala basically called Joe Biden the racist and Joe Biden called Kamala the cops. Call her the police, <laughs> and I'm happy because I'm not voting for either one of them. They both need to go. <laughs> well, who, if not those two, who else from the um, Democratic Party? It's just, they can't touch Bernie right now. Really? Bernie's killing it? Bernie's I was ne- actually very impressed Bernie's by Bernie. I was, not, I was embarrassed Well, maybe Bernie. because usually I'm not a Bernie supporter, so like... He was coming from like a lower point. They can't. They yeah. can't. Uh, yeah. Because I've one, never been a Bernie. Name Sanders one fan. country that you would try to regain. That a, I can't name one country. <laughs> this mad country. I'm like, okay, well, name one, one issue that you would do. There is more than one issue to be dealing. I'm like, you are that senile old man. You looking like the senile old man that they've been saying you are. <laughs> Just answer the that question. That question actually had me rolling because I was like, "Y'all don't know how to answer questions." But okay. I think uh, <laughs> I think Bernie's probably the most consistent person yeah. out of everybody that's been up there. Mm. In he terms has of his not platform. changed in terms of healthy policies and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, there are videos from 1988 of him talking about, hey, we need to reform these things. The government shouldn't be doing dot, dot, dot. And he has stuck to them um, over the years. Mm. Um, Now... You need to be his campaign man. I think that's why he 
gained points for me because of the fact that like he was able to repeat his platform for probably like the 15 million time mm. and then back it up with like these are the X, Y, Z actions I took like decades ago that further support like my behavior and my decision making and my desire to make this part of my thing. And then poor Joe Biden just because if you think he didn't about have it, the same thing at all. If you think about, he like, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. He literally <laughs> kept stumbling over his words, and I, did, I was just I did, like, I did stuff with Martin Luther King. So, so now I was like, Leave Joe. Me alone. So now <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't on that bus. I'm like what? <laughs> We know you wasn't on. <laughs> so, so I think. Am I standing next to Rosa Parks? <laughs> His thing is. <laughs> I think. Um, That's how I would it is. Look, oh, I didn't know I was running against <laughs> Rosa Parks Jr. Oh, she let me lose my chain of thought. Damn it. Is this what it kept going on? So, as I was saying, <laughs> y'all. Uh, so that's that's I mean I think if so the Democrats are not aha push that bus everybody oh, push wow. that bus <laughs> this is an uh, outro for this episode um I don't think the Democrats I don't know I think the problem with them push that this, bus that's what it was they circumvented. Uh, uh, hush that fuck. Everybody <laughs> needs to back up. I'm trying to get through this, man. I got I'm things. Gonna, I just do. wanted to get the Outkast song right. Um, because yeah. the nineties babies don't know who Outkast is. They don't. Um, that's okay. under these uh the draft class. That's who I'm. Jesus. Um, you were saying I apologize. Um, I think the thing that I think Bernie would have beat Trump. If the Democrats kind of then went behind his back to get Hillary elected. Um, And if you look at Bernie, I think he's one of the few candidates that have stuck by whatever he's doing, regardless of whether or not he gets elected as president. Like, he doesn't change. He doesn't stop. Um, And I think that's commendable. Now, people are calling him socialist and, and... all this other stuff and but I was listening to someone and um I think somebody was on Joe Rogan's podcast and they were talking about so Bernie's thing is to tax Wall Street to put a trade tax on Wall Street this is regarding um student loan debt Mm -hmm. put this trade tax in place to this one percent of people that are billionaires millionaires that are probably not even going to feel it and be able to wipe this stuff out. Or even if you cut military spending by a little bit, because our military spending is like, <clears throat> probably like 30 or 40% of too much head money. of the next person, this person in second place. Um, for what? I don't know. Um, cut that a little bit, and they'll be able to solve all these issues that we quote unquote are having um, in the U.S. So, um, do I think they're gonna elect Bernie? Of course not. It's, he's, he's too far. Yeah, they're not. Because if they do elect him, then the Dems are actually gonna have to bend and cooperate. And I don't know if they're gonna elect Joe because he is super middle ground. This is my concern. I don't know if they're going to elect Bernie because he might be too honest. I think uh, it's slightly too honest. And also, I worry about Bernie's stubbornness. Because uh, I'm just like, 74, I mean. 74, 73? 70, 77. 70, he's, Bernie's 77? He's there was like the oldest he's the candidate old, yeah. up there is 77. The youngest is 37 or something like that. I'll look it up. Keep talking. Uh, but yeah. But yeah, I worry about his stubbornness because I appreciate his passion. <laughs> I looked up Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac. But, <laughs> but I feel like part of the game when it comes to politics is also being able to like find space to compromise when it's necessary. Like I worry that he'll be stubborn to the point of like nothing will get done because he's so focused on like his agenda and like the points that he's been talking about for so many years. And I just don't want this to be a situation where, like, Bernie gets elected and it's just, like, four years of 
Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Mm. Donald um, Trump is 73. Joe Biden is 76. Bernie Sanders is 77. Oof. He'll be 78 on September 8th. Oh, so he'll be 79 going into November next year? Yeah. Lord willing. <sighs> He's up there. Um, hmm. I mean, hmm. kudos to him for trying. For real. Dedicated to They can't dream. elect him. They can't or can? They can't. It's going to... I mean, I appreciate Bernie for who he is. I but know. I'm just... I just have my concerns about him. Um, he... <laughs> also, I have my concerns about Joe. I don't know if Joe's going to make it, y'all. Thank God for the group chat. I think if you're the president of the United States, you have to be able to do a light jog and also be able to take a fall. If you can't take a run of the mill, oops, I didn't see that step without worrying about any. Um, Fam, we had, <laughs> we had, uh, was it President Roosevelt? Yeah. Who was in a wheelchair and all of that? Already had hoes. What does this have to do with what I'm talking about <laughs> right now? <laughs> now I want to move on. What's, what's, <laughs> how many how many minutes are we in on this one? An well, hour and six minutes. Uh, y'all want y'all want to close this off? And we can. Let's do it. All right. Uh, be sure to uh, take time and look into these candidates. Take mm-hmm. time to see how uh, they're going to affect your actual local community. Uh, of course, local elections are going to come up with the presidential election 2020. So, of course, pay attention to what's going on, but also, like, pay attention to what's going on in your county, in your state, in your city, on your block. Because um, it it definitely matters, man. Um and, uh, yeah, just anybody but Trump. No, not anybody but Trump. <laughs> Lord, but, give us give us who we need. Give us who we're supposed to have. And some would argue that's who we were supposed to have, Donald Trump. I can see. What if it's him but again? Then I, but then it's hard for me to rationalize when you got kids in cages. Like, it's hard for me to mm-hmm. kind of rationalize. You it's saying that, he's exactly a lot to that's really hard digest, but hey. a lot's been revealed about America. Yeah. So okay. yeah, that's one thing. Yeah. Oh, what else about Donald Trump? So they, I've been my 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 television has been locked on MSNBC lately. It's it's way more fun than I thought. Uh, what's that man's the news, name? The news be slapping, no, man. not the news, not the news, <laughs> not the news. <laughs> Politics. <laughs> The news is still terrible. Politics. That's most of the news cycle now. I didn't know Al Sharpton had his own show. Yes. You that, did? I mean, yes. And it's hilarious because he yes, talks slower than Lung. Al Sharpton. So, <laughs> like, he's says on there. He says on there like, so tell me about when President Trump, like, so he'll sneak in. Oh, MSNBC just sneaks in these little sneak disses. Like the whole time, whenever they asking a question, it's hilarious. They're funny. I like them more than most. Yeah, man. Shout out to Al, man. Friend of the show. Come through if you're in the city. He's a friend of my dad's, actually. Like he be yes. coming through to my dad's church. They be kicking. It's pretty cool. My dad say he don't be stunting him. So like he said, he said he talked to his bodyguard like. Talking, shaking his bodyguard's hand, like, "Hey, man, why you bring this guy with you? Who you got here with you today?" Like, they be, they be chummy. They be <laughs> oh, that's what's up, man. All right, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Tell us about your life and tell us about uh, how much you love our podcast. Share it. Tell a friend. Tell some friends. Mm-hmm. We will be back. We super duper oh, appreciate y'all. Sorry. What are we missing? Want to thank God for Nick Williams, Nicholas Williams. Nick always posts our podcast. Um, and I since appreciate we started that, doing um, thank God and shout outs, I haven't shouted him out. So, and I try to do one every week. So, I uh, want to thank God for him. Um, super consistent. Like, just always like, like if I got three links up on my Facebook, he'll repost it. Like, That's something. Like, repost like, all three of them. Shout out to Snake, man. Shout out to him. We appreciate it. People you. like y'all, they keep us going, man. So, thank you. Absolutely. You were saying. Man, 
All right, uh, yeah, we're gonna be back in a few days. Um, Thursday. Thursday. Man, thank y'all so much. We out. <laughs>